All right, I wanted to do something a little different today. Um, I'm on a bit of a From Software kick, okay? So this actually came out on the Xbox 360, something like, uh, well, it says 2006, 2007. Yeah, I, I can't remember if it actually came out at the same time on the PS3. I feel like it came out a little bit early, uh, a little bit later. Um, I was watching this ever since it was Enchant Arm, uh, in, like a Japanese exclusive game. And then they brought it here. So this is made by From Software, and for whatever reason, was published by Ubisoft. And this is actually a, it's a, it's a JRPG, but it's a really weird JRPG, and it's actually kind of really bad. So I'm really excited to play through it. It has some really cool stuff, though. Let's watch the intro. It's about to pop up in just a second. Now, there's one thing that I really like, and that's From Software makes a lot of kind of unique niche titles. Um, so we're going to do a new game and uh, alter uh, game options. What are the game options? Screen brightness, text display, one at a time, all at once. Camera up and down, normal. Okay. Sound options. What are our sound options? Voice. Oh, we could play it in Japanese, but I'd rather us hear the really interesting um, voice acting, actually. Uh, visually, visually, their, their games are, are kind of stunning, right? The graphics are almost never great, but it's the art style that makes From Software games just, just so amazing. And actually, when I get to Otogi and Otogi 2 on the uh, original Xbox... Those were some beautiful, beautiful games. Probably some of the best looking on the entire system. And they really shined. What happened? Oh, yeah, you know, we get a loading screen, a shortcut screen, and another loading screen. It's okay. All right. A thousand years ago, golems with almighty powers were created. These golems are known today as devil golems. I see. Hey, Atsuma, come on, wake up. Professor Cole will see you. No, I can't eat anymore. I know the feeling. However, debate still rages over whether these golems actually existed. Well, then why are you teaching? Well, Even never here, at Enchant University, opinion remains divided. Impossible. Impossible. Oh, Toya, just let that poor moron sleep. Nah, that wouldn't be fair. Not even Atsuma deserves to suffer the wrath of Professor Ko. It is said that in order to activate the almighty Devil Golems, special devices known as Magic Cores are required. Yeah, well, from where I'm sitting, it's exactly what he deserves. 
All right, class. <clears throat> That's enough revision for today. Time for a little enchant practice. Are you ready, Atsuma? What? Huh? What? I'm totally ready. W where? W what's going on? Atsuma, you excel at the practical elements, but you don't really like listening to my lectures, it seems. Well... I get real tired. It's just I get so tired in your lectures. Huh. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Really? Thank you, Professor. Nice, I get bonus points for being honest. That's what I do in real life. Well, Atsuma, you seem to be awake now. Let us practice, or let us proceed to practical elements. <coughs> Excuse me. Atsuma, yes. Please come down to the front of the class. Okay. Today, we're going to learn a little about golems and their functions. You can help me display the emergency self-defense systems a golem is fitted with. So, what do I do? We're about to play Pokemon. All you need to do is fight with these golems. That's all? You should have just said that right away, Professor. This is what I am best at. Atsuma, do you really need me to explain how to fight? Uh, yes, I do. I don't know the first thing about it. I never pay attention in your class. Well, you are always asleep, so I guess I cannot be helped. Toya! Yes, Professor, what is it? Please explain the basics of combat to your friend Atsuma here, would you? Very well, Professor. Sorry about that, Toya. Thanks. And activate turn-based RPG Pokemon Monster Mode. Okay, start tutorial. You seem to need help with combat. I can tutor you if you like, just so long as you pay attention. Now, use L to highlight a category and press X to select it. Okay. Uh, battle flow. This tutorial will focus on battle flow. This place is called the field. It is where battles take place. As you can see, the field is divided into squares. This is called the grid. All movements and attacks occur within the grid. The field is also divided into two sections. Enemies are in the field on the right, allies in the field on the left. To win a battle, you need to command your allies to defeat your enemies. Obviously, if your allies are all annihilated by your enemy, you lose. Victory means you acquire various items from your enemy. Experience points, which are needed to proceed to the next level. SP, which you need in order to grow and acquire skills. And money, called TV or tablets, which can be used to buy items. So I'm popping pills and selling pills to, to get items? Is that, that what happens? All these things are vital if you intend to be a truly powerful enchanter. Remember, if all your allies are wiped out, then you will be faced with a game over. However, even if this happens, you can select retry to fight the same battle again. So there is no need to be scared of game over. But avoiding the embarrassment of game over is probably for the best, don't you think? That's how battles work anyway. Hope you get all that. Oh. Wait. Oh, so I don't even get to, like, practice? Uh, screen info. So, uh, you know what? Alright, we're just gonna quit the tutorial. We're gonna wing it. We're about to go into combat. Are you finished with the tutorial? Press X to finish. I am pressing X to finish. Let's do the thing. Alright, turn one. It's time to pick Atsuma. I want to leave him here. And... Alright, I've got PP and EP. Weak punch. This must... Uh, item... Okay. Alright, let's just blow him. Fast forward, fast forward. Oh, that's nice. There's a fast forward button. He dead. Oh, he not dead. Dang it. I'll finish this. Well, I thought you were doing that the first time, but I mean, oh, look at that. I got like some crazy spiked brass knuckles here. I won. How about that? Good job, buddy. Excellent, Atsuma. All right. Did you see that, Toya? Pretty impressive, huh? Certainly. Incapacitating golems with fists alone. 
Well, I mean, I had some kind of spiky hey, thing on there. Bet. Single brain cell alert. Holy cow, man. That guy is ripped. He's got like this crazy six pack. Atsuma seems to be satisfied anyway. So let's call it a day here. Make sure you practice what we have studied every day. I mean, I could try. Especially you, Atsuma. Okay, I love some real action. If only he threw that single brain cell into his studies with the same enthusiasm. But then he wouldn't be Atsuma anymore, would he? I just get so drowsy looking at textbooks and reading about magic techniques. Ugh. That's just the way I am. Here's a better explanation. You're a dropout. No, he's a pre-dropout. You hanging here. around Toya makes him look bad, for sure. Well, he does always sleep during lessons. But he can perform powerful enchants from time to time, can't he? So basically, I'm a lazy natural. Luck, that's all. Luck. The way he does them is never in any textbook. It's just he sometimes gets good results. Come on, Toya. You mustn't give him any credit. Yeah, but if I've surpassed the textbooks already, that makes me a genius, right? No, smart people still work hard. <laughs> Certainly. Anyway, lessons are done for now, so let's go. To the cafeteria, then. After heading into the corridor from the lecture hall, go down the stairs and then... You don't have to explain that you much. You do tend to forget things, Atsuma. Anyway, let's head down there. Okay, we'll go downstairs and to the left. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know that it is a... Hey, is that like a save point? No, oh, I can't get there. Yeah, actually, the graphics are really not that bad. How do I get out of here, though? Okay. Actually, really digging this uh, song. It reminds me of the song at the beginning of Silent Hill 3. Lunch time at last! Atsuma, a moment of your time concerning your right arm. I think I'll have some interesting data to show you in a few days. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, all right, lecture hall, what's this? 3F library. Okay, good. I do have control of the camera. Oh, is that a real door? Is this another, uh... Oh, wait, what? Okay, alright. No, no. Let's get out of here. I'm not even sure how that literally makes sense. It must be, uh... Okay, okay. We're gonna go downstairs. Ooh, camera's a little funky. It just sort of snaps back. Sky corridor. All right, people I could talk to. Sky corridor. Lecture hall. And downstairs to la cafeteria. Vamanos. Vamanos, really, but whatever. I am a native English speaker. I'm gonna frame everything through English, right? Forget Look, your phonemic inventory. Atsuma. That loser. Is he coming this way? Hey, you guys have the exact same face model. What should we do? Oh, you all do. If arm touches us, we'll never enchant again. Oh, it's Toya. How handsome he is. Really? Is is he coming this way? Oh wow. Toya. That's Over fantastic. Here. Why does Toy always get all, all the generic attention? characters? The females hey, and the no males all have summer. the same, we'll uh, the same respective lunch. facial models. What? You're not getting anything? I made enough for Toya too. I mean, hell, honestly, this guy—he's prettier than those girls are. That's crazy. Oh, stop messing around and go buy something. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stop messing around and buy something. Hmm, what should I eat? Hmm, my stomach says get over to the counter and find out what the menu is. I better listen to my stomach. To the order counter! Buy hot dogs, hot dogs. Hey, you, generic female, talk to me. Orders to the south counter. Please? Well, how was I supposed to know that? Okay, this is not the south counter. Oh, okay, you know what? Apparently I'm directionally challenged. Welcome, friendly shopkeeper. What would you like? Okay. 
I want the... I, I don't know, the e-lunch, whatever that is. One Enchanted Nutrition Lunch coming right up. It's better than an electronic lunch. Here you go. One Enchanted Nutrition Lunch. All right. That's my lunch. Time to get back to Toya. Uh, pero donde están? I don't know where they are. Ah. I'm back! The e-lunch? That doesn't sound like your kind of thing. If I recall correctly, that lunch is hyped as being the perfect nutritional balance for enchanters. You know what? I'm trying to change some habits. Want to lose some weight. I'm trying to be a better guy. But actually, it's just a glorified veggie stir-fry. Oh, sweetie. Being fooled by such blatant marketing. Certainly nothing compared to my extra special Makoto love lunch. I... I don't want to eat that, actually. Wow, that does look good. I can't see it. All I see are you two. Look all you want. You aren't getting any. <laughs> okay. okay, you two. Let's eat. Oh, it really is. It's, it's heart flavored. Full and content now, are we? Oh, yeah. I couldn't eat another mouthful. Huh. Well, maybe that's because you kept stealing mine. I'm sure you are stuffed after all that. Give me a break, it would have just gone to waste. I got up early this morning to make that lunch for Toya. I love his voice actor. The it's ridiculous. Most carefully selected prawns for the sushi. Scallops and a rich mushroomy cream sauce. The special Makoto love omelet accompanied with the pinkest of pickles. Not to mention the raspberry that pecan, is a pink pickle. chip cheesecake for dessert. I didn't go to all that trouble for you to stuff your piggy face. Makoto, I could never have eaten all that alone anyway. Well, if you say so, Toya, I guess I'll let him off. Oh. But just you be grateful, you hear me? Really? Oh, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Your lunch is far better than anything the cafeteria has to offer. Of course it is. My love for Toya soaks into everything I make. Yeah, yeah, very impressive. In a scary way. <laughs> anyway, Toya. Uh, dismiss me then, why don't you? That's rich coming from you, Atsuma. So, Toya. Do you know what day it is today? It's your birthday, right? That's right! Wait, no it isn't. So it's Makoto's birthday. If you say so, Toya, from today on, today will be my birthday. Okay, you don't just get to reassign your birthday, buddy. I'll change my birthday for you. No, no that's not it either. And it's equally scary. I'm just messing around with you. The preparations for the festival started early this morning in Yokohama. It would be impossible not to notice. That's right, the festival! And so? There it is. I've been waiting for that thing. This only comes once a year. Shouldn't we get down there and have some fun, Toya? You're right. Once lessons finish... No, 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 no. That's no good. Let's cut classes this afternoon. What? Shh. Keep your voice down. We should allow ourselves to skip lessons at least once a year. Once a year? You cut classes at least twice a week, Atsuma. Details, details. Come on then, Toya. Listen to yourself. I'm not talking to you, Makoto. Why do you always drag Toya into these crazy schemes, Atsuma? What are you, his legal guardian or something? <laughs> legal guardian? Of course not. I'm his disciple of love. The, the, dis, the disciple? No, no. I'm here to make sure that Toya, my pure angel, doesn't fall from grace. Bro, get him off a pedestal. We're talking about cutting a few classes. Angels falling from grace. Psh, what nonsense. Nonsense? How dare you? I dared. Stop it, you two. You're embarrassing me. Yeah. Just tell him straight out, Toya. No festival this afternoon. No, we're going. We're going, right, Toya? Come on, say we're going. You're like a spoiled child. Okay, okay. Just for today, Atsuma. Toya, you're too accommodating, honestly. Morons like him won't understand anything unless you spell it right out. Well, we are childhood friends. He may be spoiled, but he can also be kind of fun, you know? What? You never call me fun. Looks like I got another one up on you, Makoto. <laughs> Take that. Why, you... Oh, don't you dare. He's if like the angry, the festival, jealous type, I think. We need to head for the trade district. 
We need to head to the trade district. Okay, but I need to do something first. Like what? Lunch for someone special, right? That's right. He'll be starving by now. Wait, you have a boyfriend too? We have to go to the sealed ward. It's east of the cafeteria, okay? Okay. Uh, east ward. Is there like a map so I know which way is east? At the very least. Cool shopkeeper. No, we want the hardworking shopkeeper. No, no, no. Stop. Friendly shopkeeper. Okay, so she's the south. All right. We're able to kind of make this determination by elimination. So the left is west, to the right is east. We need to go to the right. This place looks kind of cool. That one shopkeeper was mentioning how cold it is. It doesn't look very cold to me. Not yet, anyway. Hey, can I... There's a box there. It's glowing. These boxes are in the way. Who put them here? The game developers. If I recall correctly, they've been here for quite a while now. They're enchanted, so they're pretty hard to get rid of, actually. Why don't you help them out? How? You can nullify enchantments, right? You should be able to break these... Enchant reinforced boxes. What? You want me to smash them? If you do, the fragments could just get nicely cleaned away. Press sex in front of a breakable object to smash it. Okay, cool. Okay, demolition time. Sometimes you can also find an item inside the boxes like these. If you do, it's yours. Okay then, smash, smash, smash. Smashy, smashy. How do I do this? Oh, I got a power gem. It's truly outrageous. Gem is my name. East Hall. <sighs> Show's over, Synergy. Let's go. Oh, there's some stuttering and slowdown. That's all right, though. Ah, Toya, I read your latest thesis. It was amazing, so well-structured. All the staff love it. Thank you very much. Well done, Toya. You're gonna finish top again this year for sure. Atsma, I think you need to worry about your own work first and foremost. Learn a few things from Toya here. Yes, okay. Just one thing, Toya. Some of the references you refer to in your appendix are a little odd. I tried searching the library records, but I couldn't find them. Where did you ever find them? Hey, just what are you suggesting? That Toya made up some references? Never. Makoto. You can't talk to a teacher like that. I took those references from my library at home. I take it you're talking about the Lady of Ice? Uh, yes, those are the ones. There's a collection of old tales from these parts. Quite dated now, but... I'll bring it to show you. Makoto. Yes. Oh, don't worry, Makoto. Well then, take care. Agzamen. We got a kindergarten, basic school, and an advanced school, and university. But only at 1,036 students in total. World-class facility for training new enchanters. Interesting. I wonder if the world population is rather small. It won't open. Well, that's irritating. Sorry, you can't come through here. Someone has abandoned a golem here. We can't move it until we find the culprit. Who would do such a thing, I wonder? Teacher popular with the girls? She'll, she's a girl, isn't she? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so... From Software's... Obviously very progressive. I won't make any judgments. No students beyond this point. Okay. Mm, off to Narnia we go. Sky Corridor. What's a Sky Corridor? I bet you it looks cool. I want to see something that looks cool. Well, they're like just outside bridges. I guess that's cool. Central to... Wait a second. What am I supposed to be doing? East Hall. All right, I'm actually a little lost. I also have not seen a single save point, and I would love to do the thing where I save the game at some point, so like, if I have to just quit suddenly, I can do that. Uh, usually JRPGs, um, your, wait a second. Usually in JRPGs, your menu is done with the triangle button. 
Yeah! Okay. So it's a save anywhere kind of game. That is honestly my kind of game. Well, you know, it's not always triangle, right? I mean, if it's if it's a different game system, but usually it's the top button. Like, almost always. All right, 2F Central Corridor. So wait, can I see information, completion, story, Koda's lunch, sealed ward off to the east side of the yard. The yard? Well, wait a second. Oh, wait, it's a dog? And here I was thinking it was some kind of a life partner, just the way that everything's going. And that's fine, right? Like, no judgment there. I just, uh, I just, I expected that. How dare you change my expectations. So my dog, <gasps> there he is. Who's a good puppy? And look at my disc, it's spinning. Coda! Coda. Oh, woof. <laughs> Filthy mutt. Hey, you watch Good it. boy. Good boy. Go lick Makoto. Here's your lunch, boy. Eat it all up. Easily pleased, just like his master. You've upset him, Makoto. Uh, get away from me, you stupid dog. Hey, dog it's another box of punch. a real disliking to me for some reason. He didn't even like you when he was a puppy, did he? Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's that unique look you've got going, Mikado. Hey, keep it down. We shouldn't really be seen around here. Good point. We shouldn't be anywhere near here, should we? Really? The teachers always tell us to stay away from this place. Especially you, Atsuma. After all, what if that right arm of yours starts breaking some seals? There are all those rumors about this place anyway. That the military are doing secret weapons research deep inside. That ghosts are often seen around here. And that a princess is imprisoned inside. I heard that one. Really? Is she cute? <sighs> Who would I know? You can't even tell? Anyway, it's the perfect place for you to keep your little dog a secret. No, well, actually, I don't know anything about any of this. But there are some things that scare me. Like Professor Ko, for instance. Right, Koda? You've come close to being used in live experiments a few times, haven't you, boy? What? What's wrong, Koda? What's got his back up so suddenly? Just you be... What's the face for, Mikado? You look pale. You should be well aware that this place is <laughs> off limits to students. Ah! I think it's almost time for afternoon lessons, isn't it? Y yes, Professor. Very good. For it's still too soon for you to show your true colors, Atsuma. Ooh, blatant foreshadowing. <sighs> Crazy. Professor Ko isn't coming after us, is he? No, I think we're in the clear. But let's just try not to cause too much of a fuss from now on. All right. Good then. Let's head to the trade district. The school's south exit then. Let's roll. The festival beckons. I'm glad you're so excited, Atsuma. But keep in mind that this is lesson time. I'm sure teachers and members of the student council will be watching for class cutters. Festival day is said to be the hardest day to get out, even a minute early. We're making history, Toya. We will be legends. I somehow doubt that the staff will just let us stroll past. Then we'll force our way through. Let's go to the trade district exit in the South Hall. All right. Well one thing first, though, Atsuma. What? There's something I'd like to explain. Just because characters are on the list doesn't mean that they can take part in the battle. You need to move characters who have joined you into your battle party. They will aid you in combat. Open the menu, and with triangles... Oh, wait. Edit hey, party. This allows you to organize your battle party. I think it's all you need to know. Did you get all that? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Open the menu with triangle and select edit party. Right? That's right. So give it a try. Okay, Toya joined the party and Makoto joined the party. Triangle. Triangle. And... Edit party. Uh-huh. Alright. I got my buddies. 
So you know what, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kill this episode because it's actually taken a little while. Um, JRPGs tend to have some lengthy intros, although actually, in the JRPG world, this, this was not one that I would consider bad. Um, there's certainly a lot worse that I can do. So, let's see here. We're ending at about, what is this, uh, almost 10, 15? Yeah. So, I'm gonna stop there. Had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do this later. So, I look forward to enchanting some arms, and if you enjoyed this, or if, you, if you're just curious about this game, because this game is, is one that, like, I had played, um, back when it was released, actually, uh, on the Xbox 360. At the time, I was working at a, a Blockbuster video, and someone traded it in there, and I, I picked it up. It was a pristine copy. I guess they just picked it up to see, you know, hey, was it any good, and then probably got a little scared by Makoto. I'm not gonna lie, he's a little overbearing. Um, but I like the characters. They've got a lot of personality. They shine. Um, and this game got really bad reviews, and, and, and I, I kinda wanna see why. Because everything that I've played from From Software, for the most part, has been like exceptionally phenomenal. Like, not just okay, not just, you know, kinda interesting, but I haven't played a bad From Software game yet. I hope to do it one day, though. Maybe I should. All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, press like go ahead and like us on Facebook and uh, you know what I might be setting up a Twitter actually I've been I've been thinking about that I need some way to just bring this all out there to make make a presence and uh, Yeah, so you can be a part of that right be a part of that We'll catch you later